Hey guys, it's Jackson here with Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up basic character movement for a third person or first person game. Uh, if you're working on a game for, uh, that's a side scroller or top down, I'll be showing a separate tutorial in the future on how to set up movement for those. Uh, but with that, let's get started. So, uh, right now I'm using the third person uh, example project uh, that Unreal has. Um, you can follow along or use your own project. Uh, so first thing, let's right click in the content browser and we're going to make a new blueprint class of type actor, or sorry, not actor, character. Um, I'm going to call it my character. So go ahead, double click to open it up. And as you can see right now, there's nothing inside of it, um, so let's fix that. If you go to mesh, uh, and then over in the details panel, you can see that there's a option for skeletal mesh. So we want to click the drop down and choose the SK mannequin. Um, if you have a you know a custom character of your own, then that's where you or right here is where you would select that character. Uh, so next, we want to set his animation blueprint. So we're going to choose third person anim BP, and you can see he you know he goes into his little idle state, so we know it's working. Um, so I'm just going to orient him you know a little bit, uh, so he's inside the capsule and he's facing forward. Uh, next, we want I'm going to click on the capsule component itself and I'm going to change up some of the values uh, just so it helps make his collision a little better in the game. Um, Alright, now we want to add a couple components. So first we're going to do a spring arm. I'm going to call this camera boom with a really big O. <laughs> uh, next I'm going to add camera and we're going to call this third person cam and I'm just going to drag and attach the third person cam to the camera boom. So we saw right there it just snapped back uh, because it is now attached to the camera boom. So whenever you attach something to a camera boom it will always keep it um, or try to keep it at at whatever distance uh, you um, define this red line to be. So you can change that distance up over here uh, for the target arm length so you can make it farther away or closer or you know whatever you want. Uh, also, you can mess around with the, the offsets here um, to kind of change up the position of the camera. So if you want more of like a, I don't know, over the shoulder kind of thing, you know, you could adjust it a little bit and it'll be looking over the character's shoulder now. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it all at its defaults. So with the camera boom selected, I'm going to set use pawn control rotation to true. Um, now I'm going to go to self and I'm going to deselect use controller rotation yaw and you'll see why later um, and then last thing we're going to do here is go to character movement and we're going to set orient rotation to movement to true um, and what this is going to do is uh, say I'm moving forward or uh, say my camera is facing forward but I'm moving left uh, it'll make the character face uh, you know face the direction that you're moving so if it was unticked um, then the character would move left, but he'd still be facing forward, and we don't want that. So compile and save. And now, um, well, now we need to set up our input that's going to actually make the character move. So we're going to go to Edit, go to Project Settings, and click Input. So if you're using the example project, you're already going to have um, a bunch of you know these action and axis mappings already uh, you know already made. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to you know go through actually setting them all up. So First thing, I'm going to click and add a new axis mapping, and I'm actually going to add a couple. We're going to add six. Um, and for this first one, I'm going to call it move forward. And so basically, this is going to control our movement uh, on the you know movement moving uh, forward and backwards. Um, so I'm also going to add a couple keys here. Uh, this is how you add a key. You, know, you press plus if you want to delete one. You just click X on it. Clicking X right here deletes the whole axis mapping. So just be careful about that. Um, and we're going to be setting this up for uh, PC, but also for um, a controller. So um, right now I'm using W for forward. S is going to be backwards. And so since it's backwards, we need to change the scale to negative 1. Um, and then for the controller, we're going to do left thumbstick, and we're going to choose Y axis. And you can leave the scale at 1. Uh, so next we're going to do move right. So this is going to control our side to side movement, you know, moving left to right. Um, I'm also going to add two more keys, so there's three. And for this first one, I'm going to choose uh, D. Alright. Um, 
So this will be for moving right, so that'll be positive. Then we want to add A. This will be for moving left, um, so we need to make this negative um, since it's the opposite of the positive direction. And then we are going to want to do left thumbstick x-axis um, for a controller. So this will control the left and right movement um, for, you know, for any kind of controller like an Xbox or uh, PS4 or whatever. Uh, so now we're going to add in our rotation axis mappings. So for this first one I'm going to call it turn. And this is going to be our yaw value uh, rotation. Um, and so for that we're going to use mouse x so you know if you move your mouse you know across the screen horizontally it will rotate horizontally um, now I'm going to do uh, look up and look up is basically your pitch so if you you know move the mouse up and down it'll move it'll rotate up and down um, so for that we need mouse y and right now if the value is positive one uh, it's going to be inverted so we need to set it to negative one to make it uh, normal um, so just a little thing there if you want to make it inverted you can set it to negative one uh, so now we need to set up the rotation for the um, you know the controller so we're going to call this you know a similar thing but um, add rate to the end of it so turn rate and look up rate um, and this will be right right thumbstick um, you know because typically uh, and x-axis because typically you know with a controller you use the left thumb stick for uh, movement and the right thumb stick for uh, the camera rotation so again right thumb stick but this time we're gonna do the y-axis alright so we have all of our axis mapping set up so now we can go back to our character and in the event graph we're actually going to delete all this stuff because we don't need it. And let's set up the, uh, the mouse rotation first. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to do, um, shoot, I'm going to do turn, right? So we want to look for the axis event, right? Not the axis value. So axis event, turn. And then we also want to do look up. And again, the axis event. And now, as I said before, the turn is going to uh, add um, yaw rotation. So what we want to do is add controller yaw input. Um, so this will add that uh, yaw rotation that we want. So plug in the axis value and we're good to go there. So next we want to add uh, pitch rotation. So same concept except now we're going to do add controller pitch input. Um, you know if you had like um, you know the, the last one you can do is Add controller roll input and you know you could use that for uh, you know a game if you have like a helicopter in it or something um, that would be uh, you know one of the purposes for that but that's for a different tutorial so we'll plug in the axis value here and we've got everything set up for our mouse rotation so if I press C um, I can comment it and I'm just gonna say mouse rotation all right, so we're good to go for that. Now we're going to set up our um, our gamepad or you know controller rotation. So I'm going to add two variables for this. First one's going to be base uh, base turn rate. I'm going to change this to type float, and we're going to add one more called base look up rate. I'm just going to compile now and save because you need to compile and save to be able to set the default values. So for both of them, we're going to set it to 45, uh, and this will be the rate at which um, the the uh, controller will rotate. So you can play around with those. You know, if you find that it's not rotating fast enough or rotating too fast, uh, you'll just have to play around. So for this, we're going to do right click, and then type in oops, turn rate, right? And we also want the look. Oops, look up rate. There we go. So same exact concept as before. So we're going to take actually both of these. Um, so with them highlighted, I can Control C and then Control V and just print or uh, you know copy paste. Um, but I'm leaving a little separation here because we need to do one extra thing. So off of axis value, drag off and do a little asterisk, um, which is you know. Uh, the symbol for multiplying, and we're going to do a float times a float. So right away you can take the return, plug it into the value, 
and we're going to add a pin. Um, so we're going to multiply three things together here to get the control, uh, the yaw input that we want. So the first thing is going to be the turn rate, right? So this is the the rate that we uh, you know already defined. It's 45, um, and then this one is going to we need to get world uh, delta seconds, and so um, this gets like the delta time uh, of each frame. So it'll rotate at essentially this rate per frame, kind of thing. Um, so it should be pretty quick, pretty quick rotation. Um, so right here, now you could control C or control V, but I'm just going to actually do something quicker, which is control W, um, which just duplicates it right away. Um, same thing here. So a couple little shortcuts you can use, you know, to make, make your life easier while doing this stuff. Uh, and then drag base lookup rate out, drop it on, and there you have it. We now have our gamepad rotation. Man, I, I just love those big O's, I guess. <laughs> oh well, um, you can fix that on your own. So now we're gonna actually, um, actually first I'll show you uh, what we have. So I'm gonna take our character that we made, drag him in, and in the search bar here we need to search for auto, -pos oops, auto possess, and we need to, um, for auto possess player, we need to set this to player zero, right? So this will just allow us to possess our player in the game. Um, so I press play, and you can see I can rotate, but I can't move yet. So what we're going to do is in my character, in the blueprint, uh, we're going to right-click. We're going to do move forward. All right. And then we also need move right. Um, so for movement, there's actually a very simple node uh, called add movement input. So we're just going to add this movement input, and it takes in an axis value again. Uh, but the only difference now is we need to add a world direction. So I'll show you how to do that in a quick second here. So control W again, we'll duplicate it. Oops. Just gonna plug that in. And there we go. So in order to get the world direction, what we're gonna want is we're gonna want the uh direction that our camera is facing, or right, or so our our what what direction our controller is facing basically. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say get control rotation um, and we only want one value from this we don't want the whole rotator so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna split the struct pin so what we want is the yaw value um, so I'm gonna drag off of it I'm gonna do a make rotator and as you can see here it plugged itself into the roll or the X automatically uh, but we want it in the Z for yaw um, so you can hold control and then click and just move it like that um, really easy uh, but now, so now that we've had we have this rotator made, now we can uh, get the directions that we need. So for moving forward, we want to get the forward vector, um, and then plug that in. So you know, pretty self-explanatory. That's gonna um, make us move forward. So then for moving right, we want to get right vector, and then plug that in. And with that, you have all of your movement set up now. So I'll just select all this, press C to comment, and I'm going to say character movement. Um, it's a good idea, you know, to add comments around your code just so you know, you know, what it's doing. Um, so yeah, anyways, go back and you press play now, you know, we can rotate, now we can actually start moving. So there we go, we've got all our movement done. Um, the only thing, you know, we can't jump or do anything cool yet, uh, but I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial. Um, so that's everything. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, you know some more uh, videos in the future, uh, you know, just please subscribe and you know stay tuned. So thank you and have a good one